All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. First, um, I've already applied my foundation. I've done my eyebrows. I have a video for it, and if it is uploaded in time, it will be linked at the bottom. So check it out. Um, now I am using Paint Your Leap Max Paint Your Leap Paint Pot, and this is a really good, um, I'm applying it with a synthetic brush and um, put it on lightly and I'm using this one because it's um, because it's light color and we're going to be laying a light light color on top so now just take my finger and pat it in while I spread it um, a little bit into more so on the, the crease on the uh, lid and just blend it into the crease up towards the brow. Okay, in my um, 28 neutral palette from Coastal Scents, that's what we're using today. So I'll turn it this way because, okay. So I'm gonna use, what brown? I'm using two browns and it is this one. Can you guys see? This one and this one. And I'm using a um, crease brush from Studio Tools, which is from, tar we're going to pop this in the crease. I usually always start out this way because then I can follow the shape of my eye better when we start out in the crease. But anyway, I got this from Target. It's like two something. Okay, just back and forth, just like that. You're going starting here, under the brow. See, you can, that's my bone right there. So we want it right under that and blend it right to the tip right there. Okay, that's the shape that we're getting. So now we're gonna do our highlight. And I believe I'm going to use this color here. Okay. And I'm going to take a flat brush like this. This is a bit hit brush. And we're going to put it right under the brow and blend it down. See? Right there. And then just start pulling it down. And then just a little bit that way. Now we're going to use like a pinky-ish color, so we're going to layer it. First we're going to use this pink color here, okay, and the brush that I'm using for it is a um, Studio Tools brush as well from Target. This had to be like a dollar or something or two something. We're going to put this right on top and pat it all over the lid. Make sure you get in the crease and pull it upwards. Now that that's done, we're going to take the next pink color. And this one has a little bit of sparklies in it. And this this one here. And we'll put that right over the first color we just laid down. Just pat it over a little bit. Leaving this part the same color that it was. We don't go over that with this one. Okay. Okay, so now you have all your colors laid out. We're going to take the same crease brush and blend the two colors together just like that back and forth we're taking the essence of beauty crease brush and we're going into this top color here in our palette and okay and we're going to just stay right under the crease under the brow I'll show you start your brush here on the corner, circle it, 
and stop it in the middle of your eye right here. See that? Circle, circle, circle. And then just go back and forth and blend it up a little bit and blend it out to the side. Like a little C. Okay, so now that we have the two colors, you know, oh, well, both sides done, um, we're going to take this brush again, not adding anything, but going over the top just so we'll make sure that the, that's blended in between the crease and the brow. And you see how the shape is? It's going up like that. I know it looks weird now we're not done, but that's the shape that you kind of want. So take our black track fluid line by MAC or whatever um, gel liner or fluid line that you have and where is my paintbrush And I'll just take a regular black um, pencil. And put it right on our waterline and take it not all the way to the inner corner. Here. Just there. With the same brush. And then it's like we're going to color it. Actually, this brush is too big. Um. I need a brush like, 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 this one will work. This is um, a smudge brush from Studio Tools. And I'm going to go back in that same color. Okay. See? And we're going to smudge out the bottom. Same brush, and we're gonna just go underneath and pull it up a little. So now I'm just gonna do lashes. I'm gonna finish out everything: lashes and um, concealer and so forth, and then. I'll be back. Alright guys, this is the uh, finished look. So I just threw on lashes, did eyeliner, and finished my face. So I'll tell you what I used. Um, lashes are, they're old, but I think these are uh, Ardell Wispies. Um, and I used um, concealer. This one is by Revlon, and I love this. I got it at Big Lots. They had them for a dollar and a dollar fifty, so I got some for my uh, for my um, kit and everything too. But this one is three thirty because they have three ten. I think I got three ten too. But this is my I used concealer under my eye, and I used it with um, this uh, synthetic flat brush here. And then um, I set that with. Uh, a matte bronzer by NYC and that's what I put underneath my eyes uh, to set the concealer I put down and I use this Essence of Beauty brush because it's small and it fits under there and then I use my Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark and then as a blush I used Black Radiance in Soft Honey for my cheeks and then on the...